ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಇನ್ ತಕ್ಷಶೀಲ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ರೀಶ್ ತಕ್ಷಶೀಲ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ ಸೇಜಸ್ ಎಮಿನೆಂಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ಆಚಾರ್ಯಸ್ ವೆರ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಟೋಲ್ ದೆಮ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀವಿಂಗ್ ತಕ್ಷಶೀಲ ದಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಕುಸಂಪುರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕುಸಂಪುರ್ ಹಿ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಹಿಸ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ನೌ ಇನ್ ತಕ್ಷಶೀಲ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ವೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ವೈಲ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಅ ಡಿಸೈಪಲ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಅ ಯಂಗ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೀಟ್ ಯು ಈ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಹಿಯರಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಸೀಮ್ ಟು ಓಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಟವರಿ ವಾಟ್ ಯು ಸೆಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಕಮ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೇ ಯು ಲಿವ್ ಅ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಟು ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಗ್ ದಿಮ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಇನ್ಹ್ಯಾಬಿಟೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಆಶ್ರಮ್ ವೆರ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಚಂದ್ರಗುಪ್ತ ವಿತ್ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾಣಕ್ಯ ಟುಕ್ ಇಮ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ಚೇಂಬರ್ ಇನ್ ತಕ್ಷಶೀಲ ವೆರ್ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅರೇಂಜ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮದರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಫೀಲಿಂಗ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಹಿಯರ್ ನೋ ಶಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಸೆಂಡ್ ಮೀ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿಲಿ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ಕ್ ಮೀ ಎನಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಿಂಗ್ ನಾಥ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಯಾಲಸ್ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಎನ್ಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ನ್ಯೂ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೌತ್ ಆಫ್ ಮಾಲ್ವಾ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ರೀಜನ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಮಲಬಾರ್ ದ ಕಿಂಗ್ ನಾಲಾ ವರ್ಮಾ ಹ್ಯಾಟ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಲಯನ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ರಿಬೀಲ್ ದ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಟು ಯು ಯು ಸೇವ್ ದ ಪ್ರೆಸ್ಟೀಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ನಾಥ್ I can see that you have brought a lot of things with you. It seems as King Nath is highly pleased with you. Chanakya looking at his other disciples standing nearby said, Come here Sinharan. Hey Chandragupta, this is Sinharan. He too has just arrived. Have friendship with each other as you both have to live together. And the son of King Gandhara Prince Ambik is also studying here. Yes, Gurudev. But always remember do not unnecessarily argue with him. He is egoist and frivolous too. His father, the king of Gandhar, used to give a sizable amount as an aid to this university. Therefore, do not say anything which will hurt his ego. He is obviously an idiot and he considers himself a to be a sovereign authority here if any of his comments hurts your feelings just ignore that if you want to fulfill your aim you should not waste your time on the impediments on the way otherwise you will never achieve your aim as you say gurudev both chandragupta and sinharan kept his instructions on their minds well Sinharan you please arrange some food for Chandragupta He has traveled over such a long distance as you say Gurudev After Sinharan left Acharya Chanakya said to Chandragupta Listen son you must pay particular attention that you will introduce yourself as Chandragupta only in the ashram and you will never tell anyone that you are the son of commander Maurya Why is it so acharya because you're taking the grant sanctioned by king nad and if he will come to know that you are the son of his enemy he may arm you therefore until such time that you become strong capable and proficient you must not reveal the secret to anybody i shall do exactly as you have said please be rest assured chanakya left him Chandragupta started his formal education in the Takshashila University in the prescribed and metallurgical manner. He used to start his day with prayers and meditations followed by studying various science including finance management and other subjects. This was his daily routine. Gradually, Chandragupta acquired proficiency in all his subjects. Then, One day Chanakya said to his disciples 
Dear students, the Chancellor has accepted my request. Now, I am going to stay back only to teach you economics. After this, my duty of imparting knowledge to you as a Guru will be over and thus I will be formally free from my job in this university. But Acharya, we need education in arms and armed combat rather than economics. If we look at the state of affairs here, we request you to make us proficient in the arms and ammunitions. After they become experts in all subjects, Acharya Chanakya asked both of them to return to their respective kingdoms. My dear disciples, please go back. Sinharan, you are from Malwa, hence a citizen of Malwa. And you are a Magadha, Chandragupta. That you belong to these culturally rich states is a matter of prestige. Is this legacy good enough to earn respect? If you want to raise above from these narrow boundaries of regionalism and accept Aryavarth or Bharat as your legacy, only then you can gain real respect and prestige. Remember, security and safety of the race and the nation is the religion of the cities, where the citizens live. This will not be possible with small units like kingdoms. Either you are ignorant or you have forgotten that once I had indicated about the independent, small, self-governed kingdoms of Aryavarth, which in fact are spread all over will be demolished by the foreign invaders. We have a dispute with Ambik and I am sure with his revengeful and narrow mindness he will not be kept quiet. Gandhar kingdom is the western entrance of Aryavarth. This dispute will be continuously pricking his ego, will provoke him. When events will attack on us, then he will not hesitate for a moment to join hands with them to take revenge on us. You know that there has been an old feud and enmity between the king of Panchanand, king Parvateshwar and the kingdom of Gandhar. To break up the old enmity, Ambik will try to join hands with the Evans to insult Parvateshwar. Magadha is obviously in a pathetic state under the rule of Nad. How poor is his armory and the strength of his army is already seen by all. Do you want to be responsible to provide an opportunity to push Aryavat into the state of Persil? Respected Acharya, nothing is going to be like that, Chandragupta exclaimed confidently. I, Chandragupta Maurya, will take an oath that I will not let Evans to succeed in their conspiracy. I will not let anything like this happen. I am aware of your strength, my dear disciple. But for achieving success, you will have to gather resources in Magadha. It is pointless to spend any more time here and I too will leave from here and discuss with the king of Panchanand. Sinharan, you too be alert. Your blessings shall protect me, Acharya. With this, Chandragupta started preparing for his dispatcher to Magadha. Although Acharya Chanakya ordered Chandragupta to go to Takshishila, but he started wondering in retrospect as to what he would do there. Could anyone provoke the army of Magadha to join hands with Parvateshwar? This was a big question and Chanakya was deeply engrossed in thoughts. In his deep thought, Chanakya had strolled far away from the ashram. Lamps were still illuminated in the ashram. Perhaps Chandragupta was studying late in night. Now, slowly and slowly, Chanakya proceeded towards his hut. Very slowly, he pushed the door and entered. Chanakya heard the footsteps of someone entering his hut. Who is there? This me Acharya, Chandragupta. Son, you have not slept yet? The entire Aryavarta is sleeping. 
आचार्य इफ आई टू गो टू स्लीप हाउ विल यू अचीव माय गोल यू आर सेइंग करेक्ट सन आचार्य ले डाउन ऑन हिस कॉट आफ्टर मेकिंग द कैंप डिम टुडे हिज माइंड वॉज कन्फ्यूज मेनी थॉट्स वेर बॉदरिंग हिम हिज रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एज एन आचार्य ऑफ द आश्रम वॉज पुशिंग हिम डिसाइड हिस फ्यूचर पाथ I came to Takshashila and in the process I lost my childhood back in Kusampur. Chanakya was still roaming in that dreamy haze and completing the journey of his dreamy state. There was neither the ashram in his vicinity nor was in Takshashila. He was in Kusampur and he finished the journey in his dreams. How strange was the past. to travel through it it took me many days when it appeared in his thoughts it kept shifting from place to place and event to event it chant the events inside out kosampur takshashila and the ashram the banyan tree all seem to be so distant but yet true he never went there physically his memories took him there a few moments back only chandragupta left me and i left peepal tree and come to this place it was already past midnight and he just could not get sleep last time when he visited kusampur and met his mother chanakya did not see tears of joy in her eyes all he had seen was a cold stare and dissolution He saw fear and tremor. She had not been able to utter a single word. Her blank stare pointed towards an enormously dull sky. When he saw the deplorable condition of the town on his way back, his heart had cried out. He got banned. How many noble souls and faithful subjects fell a prey to Nath's ego? What could be a remedy to this? Slowly and slowly, he got lost in his stressful thoughts and gradually fell asleep. Even in his thoughts, the mind kept churning, walking on the difficult path of life. Even a strong-hearted man, when he is lonely, gets exhausted very soon. but i am not alone sinha is with me what if he is a malva chandragupta is with me at least he is from magadha but is there any difference between malva and magadha if it is a question of national integration malva also will not accept and adopt a narrow view when it is if will come to aryavarta